Hello PowerPoint users and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you some most popular PowerPoint infographics bundle designed and animated by professional graphic designer Nisnake. This bundle is recently updated and has around 1350 animated templates fully compatible with PowerPoint, Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. All of these PowerPoint templates are even suitable for older versions of PowerPoint and comes in two variations of light and dark templates. Also, each of these templates are designed using 50 different color variations and it will help you to change their colors dynamically using color schemes. To give the overview of this infographics bundle, it has many abstract designs, arrow infographics, creative design templates, circle infographics, doodle infographics, lot of timeline infographics, line infographics, 3D infographics, diagram infographics are my personal favorite, map infographics comes with two different patterns, photo slideshows and parallax effect animated templates. This bundle also comes with useful illustrations like business and startup, ecology, food and medical. It's like a complete package of PowerPoint templates which are most commonly used in our day-to-day -day presentations and it comes with lifetime updates. Links are available in the video description if you are interested to purchase these PowerPoint templates. So in this tutorial, I am going to choose one of these beautiful infographics and then show how to design and animate it in a right way. So let's get started. Here is the preview of design and as well as animation which we are going to create today. As usual, let's first enable the guides and then draw a circle shape through center of slide holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Remove its outline and then draw a long rectangle shape. We will use this shape to divide the circle into 8 different segments. Remove its outline and change the fill color to black just for the sake of visibility. Now drag and place this rectangle shape centrally to slide and as well as circle shape. Next duplicate this rectangle shape using Ctrl plus D and then align it at the same position. Holding down shift key, rotate this shape by 45 degrees and when we hold the shift key, each rotation instance will be of 15 degrees. So that will be our 45 degree rotation. Now again duplicate this shape using Ctrl plus D. You won't see it because it is perfectly aligned along the original shape. Again holding down shift key, rotate it by another 45 degrees. Duplicate it one more time using Ctrl plus D and then give it a final rotation of another 45 degrees. So that will be our total 8 segments. Now select all the shapes and then fragment them together. Among the fragmented shapes, just deselect the 8 pi sections by clicking holding down shift key and then delete the remaining fragments. Let's quickly change the color of each pie section using eyedropper tool and the color palettes. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center of slide holding down Ctrl and shift keys. Remove its outline and then format it with 4 step radial gradient. Change the gradient direction, adjust the stop positions and then change each stop colors with different shades of grey color. Adjust the brightness of stop positions until we get 3D gradient effect. Next go to shadow section and apply outer shadow effect. Adjust the distance, blur and transparency values until we get desired shadow effect. That looks perfect. Next go to insert tab and then draw a circle shape through center of slide holding down Ctrl and shift keys. Make it no fill and then change its outline color to black just for the sake of visibility. 
Next duplicate this outline circle using Ctrl plus D and increase its size by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. We will use these two outline circles as a reference to place our design elements. Next go to insert tab and then draw a rounded rectangle shape. Make it completely rounded, adjust the size and align it along the outer reference circle. Remove its outline and then create three more duplicates by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys. Make sure all these four shapes are evenly placed along the vertical and are properly aligned to the outer reference circle. Next go to insert tab and then draw a small circle on the outline of inner reference circle. Remove its outline and then align it properly as shown. Now create three more duplicates of this small circle by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys and again make sure they are placed along the outline of inner reference circle. Next select all these small circles and then distribute them vertically. Now select all four rectangle and small circle shapes holding down shift key and then group them together. Duplicate this group using Ctrl plus D, flip it horizontally and then place it as a mirror image to the original group. That looks perfect. Now delete both the reference circles and then ungroup all the shapes. Let's quickly change the colors of all rectangle and small circle shapes using eyedropper tool following the same pattern of color palettes. Next duplicate the middle circle shape using Ctrl plus D. Reduce its size by dragging it holding down Ctrl and Shift keys and then place it over the first rectangle shape. Make sure it is evenly placed and is along the center axis of rectangle shape. Now drag this circle shape holding down Ctrl key to create the duplicates and then place it over the other rectangle shapes. Finally, add all text fields and PNG icons onto our design. Make sure to change the font color to white for better visibility. Let me speed up to save time. So here is the final preview of this beautiful design. Next we will animate this infographic design. So let's first enable the animation pane and then start our animation process with center circle shape. Apply zoom animation and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. This will be the same duration which we are going to use for the most of our animations. Next select all four rectangle shape on the left side. Selection sequence is very important here and then apply fly in animation. Change the direction from left. Start them with previous and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Go to effect options and then apply bounce end effect of 0.45 seconds. Now starting from second rectangle shape. Increase the delay duration by 0.25 seconds. So that's how the animation will look like. Next select big and small circle shapes in pair. Again the selection sequence is very important. 
and then apply zoom animation. Start them with previous and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Select big and small circle animations in pair and then move them under each of the rectangle shape animations. So that's how the animation will be. That looks perfect. Next select all 4 rectangle shapes on the right side. Again the selection sequence is very important. And then apply fly in animation. Change the direction from right. Start them with previous. And increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Go to effect options. And then apply bounce and effect of 0.45 seconds. Now move each of these rectangle animations right below the big and small circle animations. Next select big and small circle shapes in pair. Again the selection sequence is very important here. And then apply zoom animation. Start them with previous and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Now select big and small circle animations in pair and move them under each of the right rectangle shape animations. That's how the animation preview will be until now. That looks perfect. Next select all 8 pie sections holding down shift key and then group them together. Apply zoom animation. Start it with previous and increase the duration to 0.75 seconds. Next select the center text field and apply zoom animation. Start it with previous. Increase the duration to 0.75 seconds and also delay duration to 1.5 seconds. Let's preview the animation once. I think we are on the right track. Finally select all remaining PNG icons and text fields and then apply zoom animation. Start them with previous. Increase the duration to 0.75 seconds and increase the delay duration to 1.75 seconds. So here is the final preview of this animation. Hope you all liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment on this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.